Hi, my name is Heather. Welcome to Strings and Threads. I'm really excited to come on here and talk about something I don't really get to come on here and talk about a lot. I've, over time, I've kind of tried to look up if there are any local yarn shops to me and I haven't had much success finding one. Well, now I found that there is one. They've been there 10 years, so I've been out of the loop apparently. <laughs> I'm only just finding out about them, but I got to come home with this and I'll get to share all of that with you. And I just love their paper that they put in there. Do you see that? Oh, the sheep. The name of the store is Ubiquitous, E-W-E. -E. And it is such a cute shop. I'm gonna just put a slideshow of pictures that I took while I was there. I got to meet the shop owner and she is so nice. And she let me take pictures and she talked to me a lot and they have, um, once a month they have a group that gets together and they just knit, crochet, uh, Tunisian crochet, felt, uh, whatever other type of fiber arts there are, they just get together and they sit together as a group and they talk and they do their craft and they share everything. And I'm really excited because I wanna start going to that. They meet the second Monday of every month. And so I'm really excited. I wanna to try to get to that this month. The shop is so cute. There's so much stuff in there. When I went in at first, I was kind of like, I don't even know where to start. There's so much good stuff. It was a beautiful day outside. My husband actually took me there. He doesn't usually like that kind of stuff, but he suggested, he's like, it's a beautiful day. Why don't we go out to Lidditz, Pennsylvania? That's where it is. It is not exactly right around the corner for us, but it's actually closer than the, our nearest Hobby Lobby. It's closer than our nearest Michaels. So it's, it's you know, reasonable to get there. And Lidditz is a really cute town. If you've, uh, if you've never heard of it, people go there to visit from all over the world. It's just a really cute little town. And they have yarn, they have projects that you can do. I saw that they had little kits that you could buy to make projects. They have a lot of already made projects too that are so gorgeous and so cute. There was one that I wanted to buy, but then I ended up spending my money on a specific yarn that I'll get to talk to you about in a minute. Uh, but they had so many neat projects there and I'm excited to hopefully kind of get get in there a little bit more and see if I can get involved with stuff that they're doing. They are involved with a lot of donations, a lot of, uh, you know, how they do the hats and then they drop them off in a city. You know, they, they kind of are, they have their hand in that a little bit. And so if there are any wonderful opportunities, I would be happy to share them with you guys because I know that we have in the past worked together to help with certain charities. I know they were doing something, uh, the owner was telling me a little bit about something they were doing to help raise funds to cure cancer. So they have a lot of good things going on. I'm really excited about it. I've only been there once and that was today, but I'm excited to find out more and to see if I can get more involved in that community because I don't really have that kind of physical community. I have all of you, which has really been helping me keep going with this because I just love the connections that we have. The YouTube community, yarning community and everything has with me. But a lot of their yarns there, they were really nice yarns. They were high end, beautiful. I. You know, I would have needed a huge budget to get everything that I wanted. So I got one special yarn that I'll talk about. But they have special people there that dye yarn and, you know, sell just to them. And I think there was something called Bad Sheep. I have to look it up. There was a, a yarn there. That was beautiful. That was one of the ones I was like, oh, I'd love to get that. But I didn't end up with that one. I ended up with a different one. 
and they have, I saw they had yarns that were from Japan. They had a lot of yarns that I hadn't heard of, but I, I'm not typically getting higher end yarns, so maybe they are more common. They had bamboo, they had cotton, they had a lot of merino wool, they had uh, a lot of blends. I did not see a ton of acrylic, and unless I really wasn't, I, I was trying my best to see everything, but it, it's perfectly fine. It's really easy to get acrylic yarn. I was just trying to remember from everything that I looked at. I believe I saw silk. They had, oh my goodness, so much in there. I There's probably so much that I missed as well. As the pictures are scrolling through, they had these really neat cabinets because the whole thing, the whole store was an experience, even down to the the shelving units and all of that. My husband who likes woodworking, he ended up talking to the owner for quite a while about a lot of the pieces that she had, the furniture pieces that she had. He, he could care less about the yarn, but he was really interested. So it was actually a good trip for him too, which I don't think he was expecting. But I was gonna say there's like, they had cabinets that were like antique and beautiful and you pull out the drawers and they had all kinds of thread yarn inside the drawers. So, I mean, I could have even gone crazy with thread yarn, which I didn't get, but I'll hopefully, you know, be able to save up some money and go back there and get some more things. It was my birthday in October. And so I had some birthday money that I went in there and I used on yarn. But the owner wrote me a really nice note and she gave me information about the the meetings that they have and where they meet. I did end up getting a few knitting knitting items. I got some of the double-ended knitting needles because when I I was working on a knitted hat which you'll see in a video that's coming out in a few weeks. I pre-recorded that one. I started the hat on circular needles. And then as, as I started decreasing, I started putting them on these double end ones. I only had wooden, and I want to say they were bamboo, of the double ended knitting needles. And every single one of them, the tips broke when I made them. And so they were like snagging the yarn up at the top and it was really hard. So I thought I'm getting non-wooden, <laughs> Double, double needle, is that what they call them? Double needle uh, knitting needles. And these are a brand that I've heard, let's see if these are, no, this is a different brand. This one is S-K-A-C-E-L, which I never heard of, but they're really pretty and colorful. <laughs> I know that's probably not how you should pick them, but that's what, I've heard Erin from Crafting Kitty mention chow goo i think is the is how you say it but that's what these are and so now i feel fancy because i have chow goo knitting double-ended knitting needles <laughs> and the yarn that i got oh i got one, two, three, four, five, five hanks of this. And they that was all they had in this color. I was originally gonna get three because I think for the project I wanna do, I'll only need three. But when she's like, well, we only have five in stock. I was like, all right, I'll take the other two <laughs> as well. So I should have plenty for my project, hopefully have some left over. But this is a, a yarn that's hand dyed specifically for Ubiquitous. It is only, you can only get the, these specific colors. This is one of them. They had, I believe, six, somewhere between six and 10 original colors that are only made at this lidded shop. You can only get it there. And the company is Yarnsmith, and they do have a website. You can order from them, but apparently you cannot order any of these specific colors. And that's why I ended up going with this yarn because it I can only get it there. And I'm really excited about that. So the name of the color is Lidditz Rocks. And this 
is really just so cool. It is, let me see, 463 yards, 75% merino wool, 95% nylon. It feels amazing. The color is so unique. It's all from the same dye lot. So I know that they should all go together, but I got five of these. That's actually all that I bought <laughs> were the needles and this, and it doubled the money that I got for my birthday money. <laughs> So, uh, but my husband didn't seem to mind. He was happy. He was there. We were out and he got to talk wood shop, woodwork with somebody and antiques. But I'm really excited. I want to make this into a top, some sort of top. So I'm going to have to cake it up and get started on that. I think the shirt that I have going, which you, if you watched my monthly makes from October, I had a shirt started. It was a pattern that I had never tried before. It's, it's worked up in two panels and I had one of the panels partly done. Um, I wasn't super excited about this top. It wasn't really working up exactly what I wanted, but I was going to finish it anyway because it's still pretty. And the yarn that I used for that top, which if you went back into my monthly makes videos, you could see what it was, is it's a very nice yarn. It's very soft, very pretty. I wasn't crazy about the color. Once I caked it up, it, it didn't cake up like I was expecting it to. So I'm not too sad about putting that one on hold. Not that I'll never do it, but I'm just going to put that one to the side and I'm going to cake this up and I'm going to start a top with this. So I'm really excited to get started with that. So thank you for letting me indulge and share about this really exciting experience that I had today and that there is actually a, a yarn shop that is local. It's, you know, probably about a 25 minute drive for me but it's it's good it's really a, a great place to be lots to see i have to go back and see more and if i do i'll bring you along with me again have a great day i'll see you in my next video bye